कॉलेज एंड टेक्निकल एजुकेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटका सो दिस इज द सेशन नंबर टू ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड वैल्यूएशन एंड सब्जेक्ट इज प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड वैल्यूएशन द सेशन इज आई एम स्टार्टिंग द फर्स्ट सेशन इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट and uh, in the previous session i had an elaborate discussion regarding the different types of projects is residential projects commercial projects and also i had uh, given a basic definition of project management and the elements of the project management it may be planning scheduling and how to control the project so in this session i am going to cover the following contents the functions of the construction management the stages in construction and followed by a small multiple choice question test so what is planning so planning is nothing but it is a process of selecting a particular method and the methodology of the work to be adopted for the project in the best possible ways and sequences in which it could be done so means before starting any kind of a project it may be a small two floor building or it may be a big multi story building the planning should be done so the planning means it's not about preparing the architectural plans so it's about hmm, selecting different methodology of the activity so what is activity activity is nothing but uh, whatever the work which is going to involve some time that is called as activity say for example in building works there are different types of activities that will be coming earthwork excavation pcc laying of pcc concrete footing construction of footing construction of foundation stone masonry foundation all these are called as activities so before starting the project you have to plan how i am going to execute the job say for example if you want to put footing concrete which type of concrete you are going to put it whether it may be the site mix concrete or ready mix concrete okay so even you know irabodu on sand sand the manegalu tarsi madbekadru kuda kelavaru one mixer machine na balisi concrete na madta irtare in kelavaru ready mix na tarustare ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಸೈಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೈಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಜಾಗ ಇದೆ ಇಫ್ ದಿರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿಮೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರೆಡಿ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು give certain days to each activity and i am going to link the activities so what is about linking the activities so linking means say for example on the block masonry anta tagalona block masonry is nothing but construction of a wall i want to construct a wall of it may be ground floor or first floor or second floor i am using the blocks for construction of this wall so only after block masonry completion i am going to do the conduiting work conduiting antandre ee electrical lines on the pvc pipe with the black color the conduiting i am going to do in the wall the chasing made then fix made and for plumbing also nalli the pipe gal en baruthe c pvc u pvc pipe lines adnu kuda en martin nanu mane olgade chasing anta karithivi chasing antandre on groove cutting machine nanu groove na cut made anta pipe line na fix martivi ಒಂದು ನೇಲ್ನ ಹೊಡೆದು ಗ್ರಿಪ್ಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ಲಂಬಿಂಗ್ ಲೈನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಹೌಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ನೀವು ನೋಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇದು ಎರಡು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಪ್ಲಂಬಿಂಗ್ ಲೈನ್ ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಇದು ಎರಡು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಆದ ನಂತರ ನೀವು ಇದು ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟರಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗೋದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ನನ್ನ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಮೆಷಿನ್ರಿ ಮಾಡಾದ ನಂತರನೇ ನಾನು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಂಬಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ಲಂಬಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ನಂತರ ನಾನು ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟರಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀಡಿಸಿಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಿಂದೆ ಇರೋಂಥ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿನ ಪ್ರೀಡಿ
ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗುವಂತಹ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿನ ಸಕ್ಸಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ ನೀವು ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅವರು ನಿಮ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಓನರ್ ಯಾವ ಡೇಟ್ ಗೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಡೇಟ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರ ಈ ತರದಾದಂತ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇದು ನಾವು ಟೈಮ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೊ ನೀವೇನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಹಿಂದಿನ ದಿನನೇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ನನ್ನೇ ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹಿಂದಿನ ದಿನ ನೀವು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನ ನೀವು ಸೇಫ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡಿಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಂಬಿಂಗ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇವ್ರು ಯಾವಾಗ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಅದ್ರ ಮುಂಚಿನ ನೀವು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾತಾಡಿ ನೆಗೋಶಿಯೇಷನ್ ಫೈನಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಮೂರು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಈ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಮೇಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ ದಿನ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡಿಟ್ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದ್ ದಿನ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟರಿಂಗ್ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದ್ ದಿನ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ದಿನ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಪಾತ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಏನಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಸೊ ಹಾಗೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಏನ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ನೀವು ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ನೀವು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಸೇ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಮೂರನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನೀವು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ವೆಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಓಕೆ then the quality and workmanship in what that will be getting may be poor so the important is the very good planning is required scheduling scheduling is the fitting of the final work plan to a time scale it shows the duration and order of various construction activities so in the last slide i had told you the sequence so block masonry conduit to plumbing and to plastering for each and every activity it requires some materials it requires some time it requires some man and it requires some money correct alwa nalakka avashyakata ide ondu materials ondu man power ondu machinery matte innondu money matte time so idanna na venu anta karithivi scheduling anta karithivi so scheduling is the fitting the final work plan to a time scale andre how much time that activity has to be completed that is called as scheduling say here in this chart we have got a table okay in this table this is the activity is not a description first activity in excavation for footings second activity in pcc third activity waterproofing fourth activity concreting fifth activity column in lower basement basement and then whatever the construction that is going to happen below the ground it is called as basement in order to do when you are going to shopping malls or big big uh, apartments for parking areas they are going to use the area below the ground that is called as basements back filling for slab and grade slab concrete grade slab concrete is nothing but the basement level concrete so here i am going to plan i am going to start the project in 18 march 2010 and earthwork has to be completed by 21/4/2010 okay so is din aitido baseline start to baseline finish hardly 30 days agutido idu planned but actually age execute madbekar eshta agide start agirad yavaga 18th march 2010 al start agide but finish agirado 31/8/2010 andre it has taken 143 days It has taken 143 days for excavation. Okay.
we are going to track with in an excel sheet regarding the update of the completion of the activities okay this is called scheduling i think scheduling means after i have planned the activities that is after the logical sequence of uh, activities that has to be start when it has to be start after this i am going to put some time to each and every activity earth work 100 days pcc 15 days like that that is called as scheduling it's not only about time and i am also assigning the resources how much men are required for excavation how much machine is required for excavation that is also called comes under scheduling actually there are four types of schedule material schedule and uh, money schedule equipment schedule manpower schedule so like this there are different types of scheduling because scheduling is a very good very important aspect in project management so, for example the metro work ko bangalore alli nadibekadre ondu tunnel boring machine beku ondu goru below the ground rodu bore madlike ಆ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ರಷ್ಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಜರ್ಮನಿಲೇನು ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಶಿಪ್ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಬರಬೇಕು ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇಂಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಮೈ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಶೋಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಶೋ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಲೇ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಕ್ರೋರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ the scheduling should be so perfect and execution should be so perfect that i am not going to waste not even a single day for the for that type of boring machine in the same manner in locally available also you require different types of machineries to execute the work so that is called as machinery allocation and in the previous you can see you need electrician and plumbing only after completion of masonry so i have to bring the persons electrical persons and plumbing persons after completing of masonry so which month you should get them so these are the planning you have to done should be in the behind so this is called as scheduling next organization so construction work is uh, a very uh, enormous amount of people will be involved in uh, any kind of construction i can see ಒಂದು ರೋಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ನೋಡಿರ್ಬೋದು ಒಂದು ರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಮೂವತ್ತರಿಂದ ನಲ್ವತ್ತು ಜನ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಸೆಟಪ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಡಾಂಬರ್ ರೋಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಿಟಮಿನಸ್ ರೋಡ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ರೋಡ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬಿಟಮಿನಸ್ ರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ರು ಬಿಟಮಿನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆಸ್ಪಾಲ್ಟ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ರೋಲಿಂಗ್ ನಡೀತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ there will be column construction that will be going on slab construction going on at the fifth floor or sixth floor in the ground floor there will be masonry going on so on an average i can say that around 300 people will be working per day in the construction site so in order to manage those 300 people you should have a very organized structure okay so once you are go getting out of a diploma so directly you will be put into site if you are going for a site engineer job site engineer anta nimane en karitare you are going to take that job so immediately you doesn't know anything okay so you require some assistance from the higher seniors okay so in this matter we are going to set up a proper organized structure for the successful completion of the project and for avoiding confusions and for avoiding conflicts between the engineers and also miscommunication and also non repetitive so there are plenty of reasons okay so in order to get the project to be completed successfully we need a good organized structure there are different types of organizations say for example in the construction industry in the recent trend for any project there will be a project manager he will be the head of that site and he will be if it is a small organization he will be reporting to the managing director or proprietor under this proper project manager there will be a senior site engineer there will be a quality control engineer and there will be a billing engineer see one speciality is the project manager is controlling three main people that is site engineer 
ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಏನು ಡೈಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಏನ್ ಲೇಬರ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಲೇಬರ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿರೋಂತ ಅಗ್ರಿಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಶಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಎನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸಿಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಫೈನ್ಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಮೆಂಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಗೆ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಎನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಸಿಲ್ಟ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟು ಈ ಥರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಲು ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ಟು ದ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಲೋವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಮೆಜರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಈಸ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಟು ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ರೇಟ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವರಿ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ರೀಎನ್ಫೋರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ರೀಎನ್ಫೋರ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೆಜರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಜರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯೂಬಿಕ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಾರ್ ಆ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಕ್ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ಫೈನಾನ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋ ನೀವು ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಲೇಬರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಕೊಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಪೋರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ದೆನ್ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರೋಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಎ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಟು ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ದ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಇನ್ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೆಸಿಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ಎ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಎ ಕಮಿಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಏನೇ ಬಂದರೂ ಕೂಡ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಏನಾರು ಡಿಲೇ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ವರ್ಕು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ಡ್
so when the person is going to dig earth without the, he asked for the permission but the electrical person didn't give the permission because of this ego the site engineer asked the jcb to dig it when he was digging there was a huge cable which has been gone power cable suddenly that uh, the supply has been cut and the total township there was no current power supply okay so these kind of um, problems that may arise because of lack of coordination so communication should be good and also the coordination team the uh, every engineer should act as a team to comfortably finish the project staffing staffing is the provision of right people to each section for successful completion of construction project in each class in diploma i can say there are 50 people or 40 people in the final year here the 40 engineers are not strong on the same field say for example some persons are having interest in estimation some engineers are having interest in autocad drafting some engineers are interested in people management that is site some engineers are interested in quality that is labs material testing labs so the project manager or the head of the department has to identify the strength of that engineer and you have to put that person to that department that is a very important task for a project manager we have we have to, we have to identify the strength of that strength skill of the person and we need to provoke, put him to that kind of a job for successful completion of the project so this is called staffing it is concerned with the training subordinates to carry out assigned tasks to supervise their work and guide their effort and uh, regularly the engineer should be uh, put uh, put with a uh, training it may be a personality training it may be a software training or it may be a skills training because whatever the resources we are having because for running a company the most important resource is not money or material it is about manpower okay so the continuously the manpower has to be provided with the uh, uh, as uh, trainings it may be safety trainings for workers and it may be some kind of software maybe autocad training uh, for the um, engineers or site training quality training because regularly when they are used to uh, some kind of a task uh, they are going to addict to it okay then they are going to forget the certain technical aspects that has to be continuously updated <coughs> continuously enhanced to them to get the best out of it so directing uh, plays a very important role in bringing out a good skill from the man employee to complete the work and uh, one more important function is controlling controlling plays a very important role so in the scheduling i had explained to you that uh, there is a uh, four columns start finish and actual start and actual finish Say for example, in that project excavation was planned for 40 days, but it has been extended to 100 days. Why? Because before the construction, we have assumed that there is only soil. When we went to the digging the earth and then we uh, assessed that it is a rock. For breaking of rock and breaking of soil is not at all equal. Okay, the quantity of rock that that will be removed per day is only 10 percent compared to the removal of the soil so these are the um, time you have to control the project when one activity is consuming more time then you have to make up with other kind of activities say for example you have to work for night also during concreting works to make up the time that has been lost during the excavation this is called controlling because once the owner has you have given the dates for an owner for the owner that you are going to complete the project in this date you have to make sure that you are going to complete within that date otherwise penalty will be levied on your company other way and also indirect costs that is the engineers that are available in your site or machinery that are available in your site should have been moved to another site but because of the delay there will be spending time here only so that indirect costs will also be borne by the contractor so you have to control the project in a proper manner to complete the project within the 
specified time so that is very important so these are the different functions of construction management so next is stages in construction when we are going to come up with a project there are different stages and the first stage is called as conceptual and feasibility studies conceptual and feasibility studies is nothing but before starting the project i am going to make some investigations and i am going to create a model and i am going to present it before the approving authority because the photo here uh, it is a project called etinavole project i hope you have heard it's a very massive project announced by the government and there is a shortfall of water in four districts of karnataka that is kolar bangalore tumkur and chikbalapur area for them the water which has been the rain water which is running as runoff and reaching the sea and oceans in bangalore area and before reaching to the sea itself i am going to make reservoirs and store it then i am going to pump the water to the these four districts okay so um, before uh, because this is around 13000 14000 crore projects so if you are go since we are going to invest a lot of amount of money we need to assess it how um, what is the quantity of water i am going to get what is the requirement of water these are all studies should be done only after having some scientific analysis then we can go ahead with the project technical and economical feasibility studies technical means in this uh, project how much quantity cubic of water we are going to get in every rainy season okay and to pump it how much cost it requires because regularly it has to be pumped from the lower elevation to the higher elevation because this chikbalapur bangalore are at a very higher around 500 600 meters higher in above the sea level so we have to pump the water continuously from zero level so you need lot of money for pumping it so you have to make the analysis and also for the construction you have to lay large length of pipelines or you have to construct reservoirs and you have to set up the power plants so like that you have to make technical and economical feasibility study before starting any project next is environmental impact assessment for this project also there is a lot of uh, um, this one against has been done by the public and uh, they were uh, being against because since the pipeline and the construction has to be done through the forest that is from western gods lot of trees will be demolished and wildlife and habitat and the waters which has to be gone and join into the sea will not be joining into the sea so that there will be lesser availability of fresh water in the sea so which may harm the fishes that was also being studied so before executing it we have to make an environmental impact assessment and one more good example for environmental impact assessment is that steel bridge the steel bridge has been announced in bangalore around 3 years back by the government it is around 1300 crore project a steel bridge but it involved cutting of a larger amount of trees so a lot of protest has been came against the government in cutting those trees and this environmental impact assessment was so strong that the government actually uh it cancelled that the project that a steel bridge project okay so that is the impact of this feasibility social impact assessment means when you are going to come up with a project there will be migration of people from other states or other uh districts to the present district so what is the impact it is going to make what is the havoc that it is going to make because in bangalore Uh, as and when this in mnc company centered lot of companies has been constructing and lot of people are going to come into bangalore finding jobs from other states like kolkata delhi and uh, west bengal maharashtra so the different cult people with different culture are coming to the state and suddenly the rise of those houses demand for the houses started and the new new construction of apartment started and there was a social impact of okay so that has to be studied land and geological survey or location of project okay so because uh, recently we have uh, uh, seen in the news that uh, the mining for the mining the 
is the rock quarrying that is going to um, disturb the the cracks have been formed in the dams okay so while we are going to develop the green field in some area that impact is going to make to other areas that has to be studied recently supreme court has completely banned the mining in ballari regions because of this so that is the geological and land survey and enumerating of pro major problems in translating the project to reality okay and also you have to assess the problems in constructing that project okay how good the soil is if uh, you are not going to get good safe bearing capacity of soil in that area then you need to spend more on the foundation so you may change the site so like that you have to understand the uh, problems in executing the project okay these are the different studies that will be make under in this stage second one is engineering design so this is an important stage in this stage i am going to do field investigation or survey i am going to do i am going to design the structure and i am going to prepare the estimate so i am going with some two to three proposals okay different architectural plans okay different estimates say for example bridge uh, for example when i am going to construct a bridge which type of bridge i am going or a girder bridge i am going or a slab bridge i am going what is the span of the piers what type of piers so there will be and also if you go into slabs there are two types of slab flat slab and column beam slab or post tension slab which slab i have to make okay these are the different thoughts that will be running in the mind of a designer so he is going to put up all these in before the client by preparing the estimates designs and drawings and after that the client will be the owner will be taking the decision regarding the selection there are usually two types of design that is one is preliminary design and another one is detailed design before the owner is finalized the project that is the plan and preliminary design the preliminary design will be done that is roughly i am going to make the design only after the selection of the final one i am going to prepare a detailed design for that and then i am going to give it and give those drawings for the execution of the project which is the design stage in this stage soil investigation also will be done survey will also be be done all these necessary things basic things will be done in this stage third one is awarding the contract for construction and procurement this is a very important stage okay so once the are uh, the estimates are prepared once the drawing are prepared once the location is finalized feasibility is super and then comes with whom i have to work okay there are projects starting from 10 lakhs or 5 lakhs to up to 1000 crores because there are companies like lnt which constructs takes up the construction project if the value of the project is above 50 crores so like that so before um, giving the contract to anybody you need to find out uh, whether he is going to be eligible or whether he will do the quality job because we have seen in houses construction a lot of mysteries will come and work and uh, there will be a quarrel between the owner and them regarding the payment terms quality terms and he will be out of that project so before awarding the contract you have to be you have to analyze the contractor very well so this tendering will be done it has to be transparent also so the first thing and foremost step in awarding any government project there are different practices in private in government we are going to announce it in newspaper that is called as tender notice karnataka rajya bija nigama niyamita ballari jille hebala that is a construction of 20000 kundal capacity seed storage godown okay the amount is 160 lakhs 1 crore 60 lakhs so like this you are going to put the project amount project name and the place this is called as tender notice after seeing this notice, so many contractors will come up to bid the tender and then you are going to put some qualification for the contractors means the contractor should have a ready mix plant or the contractor should have his own Itachi and JCBs or if it is a metro work the contractor should have boring machines and also piling machines okay if the if it is a high-risk construction the contractor should have a tower crane 
and the contractor should have completed uh, around uh, 100 crore to past two projects have been same manner so like this you are going to write the certain qualifications for the contractor and you are going to put them in front of them and then the final is contract is awarded to execute the work the contract is in Goran projects the contractor who have fulfilled all the qualifications and also the lowest bidder will be giving the project okay in private there will be selection based on the qualification quality and at the same time price also will be considered so this is called awarding the contract for construction and procurement the fourth step is construction this is in a very important stage okay here the project manager who is going to hand the project should have maximum skills so that the project is executed in time so in this phase i am going to check construction methods each and every construction say for example it may be building of blocks it may be excavating the soil it may be of reinforcement or it may be of shuttering every uh, activity should be planned okay it's the methodology should be assessed with respect to safety quality then only it will be allowed to execute labor and equipment management because every day there are 300 and 400 people are coming to go into site and per labor it will cost on average around 600 rupees so you have to take the work from that labor efficiently so you should plan them and give it the job regularly without wasting the time and the equipment also if you have brought a jcb hitachi or a mixer machine you have to manage it means you have to use it continuously so that the rent is not going to be wasted material management there should be no wastage of material for example earthwork nadita ide nee eeglene nee cement na nee purchase madta kondittre there is of no use because nee around 5 days or 10 days or 15 days or kalita kalita cement the strength nimge decrease aagutade so hagagi when you are going to start the foundation then only you have to procure the cement and also about aggregates reinforcement you have to manage it in a very proper manner construction planning that is the planning should be done means you each and every activity you are going to do give some time and assessing the critical path there is one uh, method called critical path method for planning the construction it is going to give the how much time it is required to execute this project see this is for example a small planning it has been done there are so many activities earthwork pcc foundation plinth ground floor column concrete ground floor slab concrete first floor column concrete ground floor slab concrete earthwork i will finish in january pcc will also be finished in january foundation i am going to start in february so and this ground floor slab concrete i am going to do in march column concrete will be done in april so total it will require four months to complete this project so this is called as planning the time will be allotted for each and every activity So next is very important one that is construction finance construction finance is nothing but if uh, the project is going to take you around 10 months what is the amount that is required for each month okay here see there is a project monthly expenses in lakhs okay for january i need 104 lakhs that is 1 crore and february 2 crore march 2.7 crore this is the projected amount in the green and this are the company names to whom the amount is being given so this is called as cash flow how much bill you have to prepare every month how much budget has to be fixed that month that is called as construction finance the quality of conformance and tundra as i told you the whatever the material that being used and the methodology being used has to conform with the indian standards is 386 for quality of materials so it has to conform to the quality standards construction safety is a major parameter okay because we have to work in a very safer manner okay avoiding any disturbance to the public also and internally also the laborers who are working inside should be safe okay there has to be safe practices. 
helmets gloves and shoes safety shoes should be provided to each and every worker and safety nets should be provided all around the building for the arresting of the fall and also safety belts should be provided for the people who are working above the heights okay so there the photo shows a small drill being conducted about how to use the safety belt so this is called a scaffolding these are safety nets you can see safety nets whatever the items or the materials that is going to be fall will be arrested here it is not going to come to the bottom and here the persons are wearing safety helmets safety shoes and safety belt is being worn out and it is hanged at the yes see you can the person even if he is going to fall it is arrested since they is hanged the safety belt to the scaffolding so construction safety parameters are very most important because most of the times there will be delay in project and we have to give the compensation for the worker also so you have to, and also he may be a very good worker the, because a uh, life lost uh, it's a very great impact to the society of the family and also to the construction economy disputes arbitration and labor laws has to be taken care of okay that is labor laws means pf and dsa should be provided for each and every labor and uh, while marking of boundary marking the other site owner there has to be there will be some disputes that should be arbitrated in a very smoother manner that is also an important stage in construction <coughs> next is value engineering value engineering is also a very great aspect in today's world means uh, the for the same amount uh, I, i require more value here there is one comparison the left side there is a flat slab and in the right side there is a post tension slab the difference is when you are going for this post tension slab you can reduce the thickness of the slab okay since there are cables being put and you are already inducing the stress that has to be taken in the future but this flat slab requires column head and also larger volume of concrete so the post tension slab could look little economical compared to the flat slab but one disadvantage is you require the skill labor locally available for executing this post tension slab so in this case what happened is for the same amount for the lesser amount you are going to execute the project the like project will become little economical and also the aesthetic will also be little increased so this type of um, ideas you that has to be worked in your mind for it's not only this this is just for a slab and even for tank also overhead tank earlier we were building from rcc or blocks or bricks nowadays lot of pvc fiber reinforced plastic tanks glass reinforced fabric tanks which are very lighter in weight which can be installed very easily and also the um, quality will of water will also be good so like that you have to make the comparison for the same amount uh, what are the different different features you are going to get and whether the amount can be brought down by incorporating some newer materials so this is called as value engineering and the final phase of the project is commissioning of project after project has been executed in time and uh, there will be a checklist that will be prepared about the quality quantity and specification so quality the materials quality will be checked in regular uh, process also and even after completion of the project also it will be checked for any defects and whether the work has been executed as per the specification that is in estimate you have noticed there is one word called a bill of quantities that is each and every estimate in the left side there will be detailed description about the uh, type of material grade of the material that has to be used that should be obliged while execution and quantity also whatever the quantity that has been claimed has to be there in the building after confirming these three that project will be hand over to the owner so next is utilization and maintenance any kind of building you may take in the world that has to be maintained well for its good usage okay for example uh, this government buildings or any buildings regular painting should be done frequently for avoiding the atmospheric agencies and uh, proper flooring should be removed every 15 to 20 years electrical wiring should be checked so this uh, that's why in every project after and over also one civil engineer will be there 
for regular its regular maintenance that is basic infrastructure facilities created should be utilized to its full capacity and regular repair for the part getting damaged has to be accomplished so this is the total concept that i had to explain in this session now we will answer some multiple choice questions a construction schedule is prepared after collecting option a number of operations option b machinery management option c output of labor and option d all of the above the right answer is all of the above you need to know the number of activities you need to know how the how good the labors are and also how will the machine is being arranged in time the process of selecting a particular method and the order of work to be adopted for a project from all the possible ways and sequences in which it could be done is called as option a planning option b scheduling option c organizing and option d none of the above the right answer is option a planning the process of fitting of the final work plan to a time scale shows the duration and order of various construction activities is option a organizing option b directing option c staffing and option d none of the above the right answer is option d none of the above the process is called as scheduling where they are not given the options the process involving constant review of the work plan check on actual achievements and deviation operate corrective measures a controlling b staffing c directing and d all of the above the right answer is option a controlling that is when the project is being executed you need to track the number of days you have given for the activity if there is any excess then you have to control it in by reducing the time that is been required for executing the other activities before starting any construction project the following feasibility studies are required conceptual development of model and its studies technical and economical feasibility studies environmental impact assessment and d all of the above the right answer is option d all the concepts has to be assessed before the finalizing the project before awarding construction project state whether statement is true e tendering will be done for all the projects tender notice will be published in newspaper awarding of project can be done without tendering tender will be awarded for the highest bid option is answer b because the e tendering will be done only for the projects value more than 5 lakhs the projects cannot be awarded without tendering and tender will be awarded for only lowest bid not the highest bid so option b is the right answer before commissioning of any construction project the following check should be done specification check quality check quantity check and all of the above the right answer is option d all of the above specification will be checked in consistently in the progress quality also and quantity also the following safety parameters will be set up during construction of building safety nets for arresting the fall b safety belts for workers working in heights option c safety helmets for workers and option d all of the above the right answer is all of the above option d all these safety parameters has to be compulsorily used by the contractor while construction the process concerned with the training subordinates to carry out assigned tasks to supervising their work and guiding their efforts is option a directing option b staffing option c none of the above and option d all of the above the right answer is option a directing you are going to direct them to train and to acquire some skills for their upgradation the design in a project includes a soil investigation b structural members design c survey and d all of the above the design all the three parameters has to be
taken care of while going to do the project. So thank you for providing an opportunity and thank you.